Hey guys, welcome back to Riptastic Guitar Episode 3. Today we're going to be talking about the Phrygian Dominant Mode. Up next. Okay, welcome back guys. If we haven't met before, my name is Nick Layton. And I just want to say it's good to be rocking with docking. Yeah. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, make sure you check the description below. I've got a free sweet picking course for you. 25 pages, PDF, video files, guitar pro, audio, the whole nine yards. It's my free gift to you. Just for checking out my page here, check in the description, get your sweet picking boot camp on. Okay, so last week we talked about harmonic minor and the Phrygian dominant is the fifth mode of harmonic minor. So both are considered to be somewhat exotic scales, but uh, Phrygian dominant to me has a little bit more of a Middle Eastern kind of vibe to it. Um, Egyptian, you know, that kind of thing. Used a lot in metal. This riff uh, is an original riff I came up with, and it is inspired by bands like Symphony X, Michael Romeo, great guitar player. Check out Symphony X if you don't know Symphony X. Paradise Lost, great album. Anyway, this is kind of, you know, lightly influenced by that, but really it's the scale which brings out the sound and the articulation of the notes. So let me, uh, if you're not familiar with the scale, let me just play the notes in the scale for you in the key of D. We're going to start with D on the fifth fret, fifth string. So we have D, D sharp. So that's the flat second. And then we're going from a flat second to a third interval. So you see the big leap here. And we can play it like this. So the third is the F sharp. Usually, the, the major third indicates a major scale, but in this case, we've got a very dark minor second to begin, and then the major third. So, um, it's kind of minor and major all at the same time. You could play this scale. A lot of times, it's played over a major chord, so in this case, you could play it over like a D major chord. And kind of get that flamenco kind of vibe but in this case it's definitely heavy minor sounding but with that exotic flair that the major third minor second combination gives so if we go up the scale so i'm going five six on the a four five seven eight on the D so there's four notes there and then on the G five seven there's our root flat second I'm also including the minor third from the normal Phrygian mode occasionally because it's a little darker sounding and I like it in certain places in the riff um, so there's the minor third and major third in places um, but if we just go up the scale using only Phrygian dominant, it 
those are the main uh, positions I'm kind of based all around the fifth fret here s stretching up to the seventh and tenth and then at the end of the riff I come down all the way to the second fret and I'll show you that in a minute okay so that's um, that's sort of the material where I've drawn this riff from now the articulation part though uh, is really what makes it sound the way it does and that comes from some alternate picking, pedaling off of a D note, and then interspersing that with notes from the Phrygian dominant scale. So you get this kind of effect. Notice also there's a pretty heavy muting going on. So, um, and also don't get lost in the notes here. I'm going to include the tab in the link below. So check the tab out. I'll include a guitar pro file too for you guitar pro users so you can play it back at any speed. It's a great tool. Uh, but this, uh, my, what you might want to try to get down first if you're, if you're learning this riff is just the pattern on the G string, which is... Okay. And then that's, that's um, being played at the same time that you're bouncing off the, the D string. So you're going... This is all alternate picking for this particular section. That's the first section. Second time. These are hammer-ons straight out of the Phrygian dominant scale in D. So 7, 8, 10 on the B, 5, 7, 8 on the G, 4, 5, 7 on the D, and then 5, 7, 8 again on the G. And you're just playing those as 16th note triplets. So they sound twice as fast as the rest of the riff. So after the fast little riff there, it goes back to the first part. And then we're going to have a little uh, slightly different ending to it. So coming out of this. Okay, now right here. Going straight down the Phrygian dominant but we're doing this with multiple strings here and there's a pattern to it so even though there's a there's a lot of notes the pattern really is fairly easy to memorize um, you're using two different finger groups your first middle and pinky and then your first ring and pinky and they alternate so that makes it a little easier so for example we have seven eight ten with the the index middle pinky <laughs> Then we go index ring pinky, five, seven, eight. Then index middle pinky, four, five, seven. And then back to index ring pinky, five, seven, eight. That's the first part. And you've already learned that if you're following along here. And then the rest of the riff. with index middle pinky and then back three five six with the index ring so you, hopefully you can see how this alternates with the fingering
comes in. So let me play the whole thing for you. It's slow. <laughs> It jumps right back into the riff. The second time through that ending, it just lands on a D note to kind of to finish the whole thing and heads into the next part of the, the little tune here. Okay, so little, okay, let me um, go ahead and play through the whole riff twice for you so you get all the parts and we'll end up on this D note at the fifth fret at the very end. I'll play it kind of at a medium tempo for you. constructed this riff is that I kind of had the basic idea of the rhythm that I wanted but I didn't really have this pattern yet so all I had was so I kind of had to work out where I wanted the little melodies to go to keep it interesting and keep it moving I just didn't want to stay in one little spot and like I said I included the minor third from the Phrygian because I thought it sounded a little darker in that particular spot so that's uh, you don't want to be tied um, and bound by the rules of music theory you just want to use those you know as a creative stepping stone not not something that's limiting so uh, because I knew what the scale was I also knew that you know there are no rules in music so you can break break the traditions and break the, the book knowledge and kind of go your own direction I would definitely encourage if you get inspired to try something do it even if it doesn't make sense theory wise so using the, the knowledge that I had about this scale that I'm using, the Phrygian dominant, after I had the basic melody on the G string, then I wanted to do a little fast run. Um, and I like the sound of the hammer-ons in contrast with the alternate picking. And it also kind of reminds me of something that Michael Romeo from Symphony X might do. So anytime I can do that, it's a great thing. Uh, and I just like the way that sounded. And so that fit right in. And it float, seemed to flow really well. And there's no muting there too. So the contrast of the hammer-ons and there's no muting. Uh, and then just kind of ending that with a similar... sounded really cool too so there's a you know just some ideas for you there how you can take a scale that you like um, if you like the sound of this kind of Egyptian vibe you can start messing around with being creative with it uh, maybe pick a key 
and then try a similar idea where you're pedaling on, let's say, an A, and then you start playing around with the notes, move the whole scale to the key of A, see what you can come up with that way, or maybe the key of E, or something like that, where you have an open string that you can pedal off of. All right, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time on Riptastic Guitar. Rock on. Hey everybody, Nick Layton here. If you're into rock and roll guitar and you like Marshall amps and you like Charvel guitars and you like stuff that shreds, I think you're going to dig my free sweet picking boot camp. It's a free course. It's 25 pages. It's got video files. It's got audio files. I think you're going to really dig it. Go download it now. It's free for you. Check it out. Mm -hmm.